What's up everyone? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, my name is Maya. If I like it, then that's what I get. Yeah. I want it. I got it. I want it. For today's video, welcome to a day in the life of a film student at Howard University. So I'm currently a sophomore in my fall semester, like I said, at Howard University. I study TV and film production, and specifically today, I'm going to take you along on my little process, my little journey of creating my short film for my class media production. So I just want to be very clear and make this little quick disclaimer. This is an intro course, so I do not know everything yet. I have not learned everything yet. Like, by no means am I like a full-fledged film person yet. I'm still learning, I'm still only in my first year of really taking those classes. So this is my final project and I thought it would be fun to take you guys along because a lot of people ask about my major and don't kind of understand what we do or want to know more about it. So here we go. So like I said, this is just an intro course so it's not really expected or I think um, required to have like a full big production type film. This is really just for practice, just so our professor can see, you know, what we've learned. Um, also really important, I wanted to pull this up for you guys. There's like an entire process before you even make the movie and we've been working on it since August in this class and actually only just yesterday did I complete the script and kind of get myself together. But I'm gonna read you what it had to be. So I needed to make a synopsis, a treatment, a script, a script breakdown, a mood board, a cast list, and location scouting list. So I could break down what all that is, but my armor is getting tired, so let me let me go get my tripod. So pretty much a synopsis is just like a short breakdown. Mine is only a paragraph long, which I'll show you guys in a second. But the synopsis, it should basically just be like a quick overview of the characters, the plot, the setting, you know, not too much plot development, not too much going into depth about anything. You just want to give like an overview of the story, but I will read you guys mine as soon as I finish explaining all this. Then a treatment, that is where it gets a little bit, I guess a little bit more tricky, like you kind of have to actually know your story now. A treatment should be one page or less mine is one page but it's just a few paragraphs and you actually like explain it um i kind of broke it down like scene by scene so like in the bedroom this is gonna happen then that's gonna happen again i can read you guys all of this i just wanted to explain it a little bit more then we have the script which pretty self-explanatory um i've been working on that for a while now we actually even had to download like a special program that like formatted the script correctly so i thought that was pretty cool again i can show you guys that so this is a direct example of me saying that i don't know everything i'm still just a first year film student or just taking my first course so you know i don't know every single thing for example the script breakdown i'm gonna have to go look that up a little bit later just to kind of see what that is i haven't started it i think it's when you just take the script and literally break it down like location and then write about it then character write about it like i think it's more like that then for the mood board again i haven't done this yet but like i know what i have in mind the mood board is basically I mean, I'm sure you guys know what a mood board is, but you just like put pictures in and you have like color concepts and ideas. So I know what I'm gonna put because based on my story, it's already on the internet, so it's easy. I'll tell you guys about my story in a second. Cast list, it's literally just my brother, so I'm not gonna be a problem. And then the location scouting list, I'm gonna be doing it here in my apartment in Washington, DC, so that's pretty easy too. But today specifically, I'm gonna be working on the actual film itself, a little bit of editing, a little bit of, um, I guess like figuring out the whole writing parts of it. Uh, so if you guys don't watch my videos, you won't know this, but I'm obsessed with Harry Potter. Like, I love it so much. Just, I love it. The stories, the books, everything, love it. So I knew that's what I had to do when I made the short story. And I've explained this in other videos as well, but I've had to write like four different stories multiple times since August because I just couldn't decide and I couldn't think of something that was actually like attainable and feasible like in my apartment and something I was gonna have to get done in like a week. But at last I've decided to do a Hogwarts type Harry Potter inspired story. It's very different and before you question me and be like that's illegal blah 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 blah. This is not getting posted anywhere other than maybe what I put on YouTube. This is just going to my professor. Um, yeah like it's literally it's it's i'm not being paid for it literally nothing like this is just for a grade so it's no big deal but yes my story is harry potter themed so i've pulled up my synopsis the treatment the script um that type of stuff right now um i actually have to go print it and then i also made a very pretty hogwarts letter that we have to print and mess up and make it look like old and raggedy so i'm excited for that um, I have to pack a box. You guys will see all this in a little bit, but I'm going to read you guys the synopsis, and this will kind of give you like an overview of what the story is. Devin Guardino, a 21-year-old student at Howard University, has only one goal in mind, to figure out what he's doing after graduation. After a conversation with his mom, he is almost more confused than ever. 
With a stroke of luck, Devin receives a package in the mail from an anonymous sender. What he found would change his life forever. Inside the box is a letter, a wand, and a cloak. The letter explains Devin's true path to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. In this moment, Devin learns his fate, tries on his new cloak, raises his wand, and realizes why nothing had ever seemed to fit him so well before. So yes, it's not a hard, complex story. It is very simple. I think it's going to be able to be shot very simply. I'm pretty sure the synopsis is what you like send out and then people read it and they decide like if they like the story, do they want to take it, do they want to work on it. It's like the synopsis is so important, you guys. Um, it's it's kind of like a determining factor. So I know mine isn't like at that type of degree yet, but like I keep saying I'm literally a first year student. This was my first time ever writing a synopsis. Um, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So after the synopsis, then comes the treatment. I'm actually not going to read this. This is literally just an extended version of the synopsis. Um, again, I'm not exactly sure if I even like wrote it 100% correctly. So then moving on from the treatment, we have my script. Um, right now, this is called the surprise box. I feel like I'm not going to keep that title. I just wanted to like fling something on it real quick. So this is what my script looks like. You always start with this little heading, like when you're changing scenes or when the scene is starting. So we have interior, bedroom, and it's going to be the daytime. If I end up filming at night, I'll just change it to night. It's not that hard. Then we have like a little description. Devin, 21, wearing casual lounge clothes, is sitting at his desk, looking at emails and sorting through a textbook while listening to music as his mom calls. And when you write the character, their name should be in complete caps, like when you first introduce them. Then we just go on to have the entire script. So like the... The lines and stuff, those stay in the middle of the page. And then when you're introducing a new action, that's when you write this. So Devin begins closing his laptop and the textbook to make his way into the main room of the apartment. So yeah, this is my script. It's not that long. It's not that hard to understand. This short film only has to be like two to five minutes long. I'm assuming mine's going to be like three minutes, but... Yeah, I'm looking forward to filming this. So now that you guys kind of understand what's going on, what the story is, a little background, all that. Um, it's one o'clock. I told my brother we were going to start shooting at two, so we have an hour. Um, I'm going to print out the script. I'm going to print out the Hogwarts letter that I made that I can show you guys later. Um, I wanted to like kind of make this look like old looking. I'm going to do like coffee and like splatter the edges or something. See if it works. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so now we're going to get into the fun part of this. Okay, so I printed it all out. Um, I made two copies of this and then I made a bunch of copies of the letter because I have a feeling it might get messed up the first couple tries. I decided I'm gonna light the edges on fire and see what that does. I'm gonna like splatter coffee and see if that makes it like old or anything. Um, I don't really know exactly yet. I didn't, I kind of thought about it, but not too much. Also update, we are actually gonna film the little thing tomorrow early in the morning. Um, right when the sun comes up so we have great lighting um, we also just figured it's better for both of our schedules so we're gonna do it early bright in the morning so we'll continue the vlog um, then but I do want to do this on camera and then I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow when we actually film so I have coffee brewing over there and if the fire works out perfectly the first time then I'll just drink the coffee myself if not we're gonna grab the coffee um, or if I want to do like you know adding the coffee too then I'll use that um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know how safe it is to do it right here, but I don't feel like going to the sink. So we're just gonna light this paper on fire right here. And let me warn my brother in case something happens. Okay, I really like how this is turning out. I like that the edges are like, kind of uniform but not really uniform i'm going to continue doing it all around the edges on the bottom and then we will take the coffee um it did take me quite a bit of time to get it like this um and not look like too burnt but like if you guys see like the edges even looked kind of burnt which i think is really cool um this is going to be such a small detail in the film so i don't want to be too much of a stickler of it but i am i do want it to be nice well everyone i have watering eyes very dirty hands a dirty lighter <laughs> um but a masterpiece for my letter this is just with the like fire chars and stuff but um i still have to do like the coffee obviously like i love how this looks with like the old fashioned -y time kind of look um all right i'm gonna put in the coffee now actually i might do this side a little bit more but i'm gonna do the coffee and you guys can see the final product
Hello everyone, it is the next day and it is filming day. I'm so excited. Um, I've been going through the script and just kind of changing um, everything, like the synopsis, not everything. I've been changing, I've been making minor changes to all of the sections just to like fit the props that I have or you know, if I talk to my brother and he's like, hey, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to say that, then we changed it. Um, so it's just pretty small changes, but um, yeah, I'm getting excited. We're gonna start in like 15 minutes. So I've also cleaned like majority of the apartment just so it's ready and this is gonna be our box. But yeah, so this is gonna stay here. Like I said, I made a few changes to the script. So like he's not gonna go to the door and get it. He's gonna come here and get it. Also this, in my head, I wanted to make this taking place more towards like the afternoon, not really the morning. And as you can see, it's very bright in here. So I'm just gonna close the blinds and turn on all of our like night lights and that should hopefully make it more of like a evening ambiance, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to filming. Um, I'm charging the other camera right now, and yeah, we're gonna start like any minute as soon as my brother's ready, but yeah, I don't know guys, I'm rambling, but I'm just excited um, to actually, you know, get on with it. So I think what my plan is, is I'm gonna set up this camera, and I'm just gonna like document the whole thing so you guys can see the you know, uh, action, cut, um, do that again, you know what I mean? Like, it's gonna be a lot of repetitiveness because, you know, we're, we're trying to make this. Um, I'm obviously new to this, my brother is obviously new to it, so, you know, it's not gonna be perfect 100% the first time. I mean, I'm not gonna have the final thing done today at all. You guys are not gonna see the final product right now, but if you wanna see the final product, I was planning on posting it on Vlogmas, not on Vlogmas, for Vlogmas. So, yeah, I don't know, guys, I'm getting excited, but... Yeah, I want to go set up. Okay, so the main rooms that we're filming in are, you know, the main room, my brother's room. So I already have the lights on in there to kind of have that, like, night look. And then we're going to do this light. And I'm going to put on all those. All right, so this is my brother. He's going to be my little actor. Do you want to say hi? Hey, everyone. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we kind of set up his little desk scene. And then he's going to walk, walk, walk. And then we have this scene. So we're gonna start shooting. I'm gonna set up this camera, set up the main camera. And yeah, we're gonna get ready to close the laptop. If we can just do this part right now without stopping, like that's fine, because I can cut to this. It's just a normal conversation. Hey mom, what's up? Action. Close, make sure you're closing this stuff. Oh yeah. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Action. Yeah, classes are good. Um, nothing really going on. Did you possibly send me an Amazon package earlier? Because I got one in the mail. Can I move around or like just no. the angle? Yeah, you can you can move around a little bit. Just well where are you gonna move to? Maybe like here. Okay, so let me move back. Now you look in the mirror look in the thing, right? That's what I'm gonna do. Well no, now I can't really see your reflection. Right. Yeah, right there. Right there, I can see your reflection. Right here? Yeah, you can close your eyes. So I'm just gonna say, please just trust my parental instincts when I say, Devin, you'll figure it out, okay? And then what do I say? Sorry. Um, just be like, realistically, I should have known by now, though. Okay. And then, just pause after that. All right, ready? Action. Please just trust my parental instincts when I say, Devin, you'll figure it out. I know, but I should know by now. Okay, pause. All right, so we have finished filming and I am so happy with the footage that we got. Um, I've just been looking through it and it looks pretty good. So we have seven minutes and 21 seconds of footage and the film has to be between two to five minutes. So I think we have just like the right amount of time. Um, the editing process is gonna take me, I don't think it's gonna take me too long, but I did wanna span it out over the next couple days just so I can really like pay attention to it you know it's not like a video where I can just like cut randomly like you know the clips have to all merge into each other nicely but um 
I am going to show you guys what we did, just a little bit of it, but I did just want to say thank you to my brother. He really did a great job and helped me out so much because, you know, I wouldn't have been able to do it alone. So we have like the opening scene, just him looking at his books. Like I said, I filmed a little bit more than I needed for each scene just to be sure. Then we have when the phone rings and I actually called him and then we just took a screenshot of the conversation and then that was what he like held around with him he changed his name in my phone to mom so it all worked out so we have this scene then we go him getting up and turning all his laptop around he walks past then we have this conversation i thought this shot was so cool you guys might not agree but i thought it was so cool how his like face was reflecting in the microwave and i kind of this wasn't in the script originally i had to you know like i just like added it in at my own point but i will put it in later and i just wanted to show him like you know like contemplating looking at himself in the reflection like oh my god what do i do um so i thought that was a cool part but we have all of this then we have again the walking yeah so i am pretty excited i'm looking forward to editing this um, I know this video is not showing the entire 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 process But like I keep saying I can definitely make a video where I end up showing you guys the final product what the entire um, Like script looks like what like the end product looks like for all this because I do have a lot more work to do But it's gonna be a span of a couple of days of me doing this work But I thought it would be fun to like document also to look back on because then when I'm a senior or actually working in the film industry I could be like, oh, this was like the first little video thing um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to editing this and seeing how it comes out and I was so excited to make this video for you guys But that is gonna bring me to the end of this video So if you guys enjoyed and kind of got a feel for what I study what I do what I want to do eventually one day in life And I'm so happy that I was able to combine my love for Harry Potter and you know this assignment and make it all work together So I'm so excited. I'm so happy with how all the props came out um Wow, I just, I feel good about this. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. All my socials will be right here on the screen as well as in the description box down below. I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 12 o'clock. But as soon as December 1st hits, we're posting every single day. So I'm so excited. Oh, I keep saying I'm so excited because I actually am so excited because like I've just been itching to do something like this. But all right, that's going to be the end of this. I will see you guys next time.